Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. This is TBT bringing you another episode of Baldur's Gate as I crap, uh, crack open a nice uh, c a can of Coca-Cola. Man, I don't know why I started on that one. Anyway, um, <clears throat> last time we kind of meandered our way through the woods, got a kick out of poor Lazelle being caged. <laughs> I'm never going to let her forget that one either. Um, I mean, there's not really an option to do anything with it, but I wish there was. I wish you could, like, ta uh, like tease her with it just a little bit. Like, yeah, you're acting real high and mighty for someone who literally got locked in a birdcage. You'd think that would knock her down a peg, but of course it will not. Alright, sorry about that. Dad wanted to know where his little uh, paper pad and such was. Anyway, um... Yeah, oh, what the... Oh, okay, no apparently I triggered this. Zevlo I didn't mean to. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. So this is the part where it's like I'm too busy adventuring and I just say, ah, screw them, but no, we're not going to do that. Anyway, if you find yourself... Oh, he'll hold up. Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. Man, that is one, um, that is one ugly dog. Actually, that is a warg. Damn. I would have tried to roll under the gate myself, but then I also might have been squished. Ooh. Roach. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Anyway, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, um, and turn on uh, notifications and all that good stuff that pleases the algorithm gods and spreads this video around the platform. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is right here is a warg. I don't think that's the correct spelling, but then again, I'm using the Lord of the Rings spelling, which has an A, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. At any rate, uh, we're going to have Lazelle switch to her bow here and go for a ranged attack because that's what is the easiest thing to do. Now, can't really shoot this guy, but, or this, uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go uh, back. We're going to just dash is what I'm going to do. I want to get up here. My path be true. Yeah, so we'll get up there, and then next turn I'll be able to, uh... Yeah, get Action Search, which I could use right now, but that would be a stupid use of it. Shadow Heart, what have you got? Can't get in range. I can 50% shot on that. How about instead of that, we just, um... We go here. When I, go. Uh, I don't want to use... Do I want to use Guiding Bolt? I kind of do. Yeah, try and kill this guy. Oh, and I missed. Damn it. Put Shield of Faith on the Paladin. See, I wanted a Guiding Bolt because I wanted to try and kill this warg as quickly as I possibly could. Um, what we're actually, what we're going to do here is I'm going to Fire Bolt this guy. And then I'm going to move up here. Just try and get damage on these guys. Ooh, nice. Good work, man. Just, uh, it was an Eldritch Blast right there. Hmm, I wonder what class he is. Hmm, yeah. Ow. Goblin Booyog. 
Oh, he knocked Shadow Heart Prone. That's pretty funny. Uh, I'm gonna jump. Boop. Give him the smack. Ooh. That's kind of a waste of an action surge there, bud. Nonsense. Let's finish this. Jerk. Okay, that's difficult terrain. Oh, come on. Oh. Probably could have done that first. <laughs> oh, well. Zell, you just you just having a tough time today. <laughs> no time to waste. Got to focus. Oh my god, everybody's just everybody's just having a time today, you know? Missed. Oh, yeah, thank you. Good kill. Good kill. Oh, that is why we love Divine Smite right there. Nice. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do this uh, instead of what I wanted to do. sure if I can use these, but I certainly won't turn them down. Spike shield. <laughs> Thick spikes jut from this repurposed wooden tabletop. Lol. We love it. 
Let's have a look. Also, note how that guy just, like, disappeared. Now, actually, you know what? I could go on. I could disappear and come back. So I think that's what we'll do. But I did actually... No, actually, there's another reason I want to go in first. Because I want to try and uh, activate the... Uh, I believe there's a fast travel in there that I need to... Hmm. So I have a choice. I can go in... Or I can keep exploring this way. I think I'd like to keep exploring this way for now. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! <laughs> ah, backstabbing. This feels just like a... I've seen much blood in your battles. Jesus, you show off? I mean, I guess. Um, I, th I think this is the, like... Tell that to the dead at the gate. N the hogs. one dead guy. I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. Wow. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious time. Mom, Dad, please stop fighting. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. Whoa! You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. <laughs> Okay, we're definitely going to be taking a bonus from Shadowheart's Guidance on this matter. I do have good uh, charisma, so let's see what we get here. Okay. Oh! If it meets it, it beats it. <laughs> You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we The graphics are so good I can see the pores, man. Okay. Time to pack. We need to leave. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. I wouldn't have looked to a drow for help. But I'm grateful all the same. Okay, considering the I'm racism saying. you just received from earlier, I'm not... Okay. <laughs> I meant no insult. It's simply that yours are a people at war with themselves. I've never known them to care for outsiders. Whatever your business, I'd see to... If you don't know about Drow in Faerun, by the way... Out. Um, this attack will only <clears throat> strengthen their resolve. Or Drow in, like, what's it called? Um... The, the, the continent is Faerun, and I forget what the planet's called. I think it's called Toril. Uh, if the drow and that have some really messed up stuff. I've said it before, and I will say it again. Um, they got a messed up society. When he says they're at war with themselves, they really are. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. What? Bruh. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We'd owe you a great debt. If we are forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. Lizel doesn't like that, and I'm just like... Druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. Lazel be like, if it's of any concern, hold on. You're brave, 
to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. It's not really of any concern. As you can tell, I am uh, very much a uh, a colorful individual, let's say. And I just mean that in the most literal sense. Like I've got I I've let my I've like dye my highlights gold. I've got gold markings all over my face. Like I am bombastic on legs. That's what I am. Refugees, adventurers, and even a drow. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Good lord, That's wood spreads here. Is there wood? Word spreads here. Wow. I can't uh, English today. Before too long. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Immediately, Kyler, like, what are you selling? You know? yeah, yeah. Need. Here, here, maybe I've got some supplies for you. Like, uh, we got... We've got, uh, the scimitar here. We've got, uh, we got a couple of things. We got a couple of things. Uh, here, have a skull. You can have some skulls. Here, let's sell where... What do I do? Uh, I used to remember how to do this, and now not... Ooh, excuse me. Uh, sell. Boop. Here, have four skulls. Uh, a stuffed bit. Oh, okay. Now I'm keeping that. Uh, simple robe. Uh, -do 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 -do. How is a wooden shield? How do you have an item? This says it's worth negative one. So it would cost me a gold piece to sell it to him? What the? Why? Oh, it's comparing. Okay. Sell. Sell. I'm probably not going to do all this selling stuff on camera, by the way. Normally, when I need to go visit. Uh, merchants, I'll probably do that off camera between episodes, but I'll do it here just to go to take you through the process. I am proficient with a rapier, however, I'm probably better with my warhammer. Sell that. I'll keep the loot. Paladin oaths and their tenants. I need to keep that book because I probably should read it. Slave mind. How is this worth one gold? Hmm. <laughs> Coat your weapon. Uh, string. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Uh, this is a hand axe, so it's a one handed weapon. Uh, ring mail. Slightly better than the armor I have, but I can't afford it yet. I could sell this, but I could also give this to somebody. Hedge wander. I think we, I believe that's the druid armor, actually. Padded armor. Ring mail. This looks interesting. I, I would want this, but I don't think I can actually afford it yet. No, I can't. Ring of flinging. <laughs> <laughs> Ring of flinging, I love that. Okay. Um, let's see here, have some bones. You can have my bones. And this candle. Uh, oh, you can have a short sword, why not? Uh, let's see what everybody else got. 
Oh, ooh, pretty. Lost in thought. No, no. Man, I really haven't given you guys anything good, have I? <laughs> okay, 314. I'm just looking. We're just just checking. Rain dancer. What is this? Okay. All right, it's a staff. Spell thief. What does this do? When you land a critical... Ooh, that's interesting. Not helpful to me personally, but... Hmm. This is actually pretty good, but I'm not going to buy it. Yeah, I think that's enough. Sylvanas, guide your path. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take a look around the camp, maybe. Probably not going to be a whole... Well, we, we had the big fight at the beginning, so... Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. Just like I was saying, I don't want all these lives on my conscience. We need to stay. Zerg! Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. You're kind of a dick. You say that, but almost all of you are, are armed. Like, I, what? Hmm. Mm. So, you'll notice this is the strange ox. We're going to leave that alone for now. Don't need to worry about him right now. Like, this place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. I don't know, man. Looking pretty safe to me. Kind of. <sighs> Failed a perceptive check. On what? What was... What did I have to be perceptive of there? <laughs> yeah, we, we yeah we know there's something weird about him, but I'm not gonna worry about it this second. The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Oh, here, here's Smart, the guy. The here's Will. Good hands. I didn't know he was out here. Good I work, kinda... kid. Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, buddy. Guy. Okay, we're we're using at least. Not bad. We're not again. Maybe. Oh, is that your actual sword? I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on, I believe in you. You can do this. You're <laughs> just covered in blood. This whelp is hopeless. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. Oh. And his thoughts become... He's infected. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. 
Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a lithid. And there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Baldurin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. An excellent suggestion. But yeah, I'll send you to camp, up. buddy. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. I like how we just kind of commandeered the teacher there. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That. Thanks. Sorry about that. I hope we didn't miss any dialogue there, but my dad came in and, uh, you know, just to update me on the state of the world because I definitely want to know about that. I, and I, I do say that because, quite frankly, the state of the world lately is just crazy and it stresses me out. And as important as it is to stay, you know, caught up on everything, sometimes you just, you just need a break, man. People are exhausted. and Roland would never admit it. But they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Okay. You saw you fighting those slimy bones. What did everybody see me doing that? Fancy a bowl. Every even the Best people that weren't there. Belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Or, you know, someone could go clear out all of your problems and then get paid for it and be rewarded as a hero, you know. Just a Oh. Hmm. I know you. I mean, I don't, but I do. Goodness, you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Uh-huh. Uh you take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. As you this is gonna be potion, funny. A comforting warmth spreads well, maybe, me. maybe not. Maybe it'll be mm. nothing. I swear, you're still as peaky looking. Huh. Oh, stop! Even on a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. Yeah, but then you'd probably be hit with a sexual me. assault charge. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. I was half expecting that to knock me out, and if you know this game and you know hey, this bother. this person, you'll understand why. If you don't, then you'll find out soon enough, theoretically. Maybe not. I might completely forget that I could do that. Ah, uh, here. Can I sell this? No, I can't. You only deal in potions, huh? Uh, okay, you don't have anything I want. Well, Elixir of Hill Giant Strength isn't bad. In fact, it's quite good, but I don't need it right now. Corellin, uh, Corellin's Grace. 
Yeah, I'm not really into that. That's like the ultimate elven god, and Drow don't really like that. Okay, I can't sell it. Yeah, we'll just take care now, sweetie. I mean, what are we talking? I was, I'm suspicious of her. What are, we, what are we talking about? It's just a nice old lady, you know. Blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. No. Nah. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. See, I could make an argument there. Why didn't you go help him out? But I mean, I kind of get it. Like, you'd be dead. Yeah, I'm just going to talk to these guys, these NPCs here, and then we're going to go uh, tech, check out the uh, we'll Druid dog, Grove. Right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats. Though. What? They don't the allow dogs in Baldur's Gate? It's a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> I can be. <laughs> I love these options. I might do another playthrough of this where it's just. Me being the biggest asshole I can possibly be, but not today. <laughs> oh, it was good. I haven't. I don't think I've ever talked to this person before. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the Am city? I, what? Okay. God, that sounds like heaven. Won't be long now. One more trip. Then we can really rest. Hmm. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like to think that this character is a little bit too honorable to allow that to happen, as though although Drow are not known for their honor, it's like it's like why are we, why are we killing someone here? Like what? Where's the where's the what option here? Yeah, I'll step between them just just because it's like why why are we killing the person like already caught in the cell? Me a protector. You gonna kill her too? Saza, shut up. No. Was was he the one out at the gate? Ah, if it needs it, it beats it. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it. Why she then just shoots me in the, in the chest with the bow. I don't. T 
Your soft heart will be the death of us. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Well, my question then to Lazel will be, why do you care? Why do you care about whether the goblin lives or dies? It's a goblin. It's like, what? It's like, this isn't the person who killed her brother, so what does it matter? You've got a prisoner here in the fucking... In the cell. Like, uh, hello? Interrogate for information? And I know that was an option, but that's not what I wanted to say. It was just like... You know, anything you do, he's like, I'm not going to help you, but I, I want to see what she has to, to say. In here? Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Ooh, I could do this. See what she has to say. I nah. Never drow. She's one of my best mates. Thought you might work for her. Get me out of here, and I'll take you to meet her and the rest of my tribe. Leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk yeah, to you. Yeah, we, we will. We will, Gail. Don't worry. We'll do that. Very but important. before we do it, I'm going to have to go... We've been on the road together for a while now. Okay. We? All right, we're doing this now. We survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you defused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin, the way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell <laughs> another living soul. Except for my cat. Except for my cat. Be honest now. In, see, in the com let me know I in the comments. Do you have a pet condition. that you tell anything Very to? Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Man, you got you got double fubbernucked on that one, Chief. <laughs> is it contagious? <laughs> well, this right here is not correct. It's not that he was lying. It's that he wouldn't. He wasn't telling uh he wasn't telling the full truth is that a lie by omission technically yes but i'll let it go on the grounds that we literally had no reason to even question him if he had anything else to say and it's understandable why you wouldn't want to say it what kind of conditions are rather personal but suffice it to say that it is a malady i've learned to live with though not without some effort what it comes down to is this Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Okay. Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls. The form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my crazy. And returns. what happens if it uh That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. So basically what I'm hearing is critical. If I have stuff I don't want and it's not worth anything. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. Look, look, look. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. Ain't that the truth? As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Oh, you can give him the scroll? Or so <laughs> uh, you know what? I probably should have taken a... Man, what is it with this game, the opening of this game and people being in cages constantly? Okay, I can actually loot these items, but I'm not going to. Just seems rude. Now, there's a couple different side quests in this area, but before we do any of them at all... Um... Mm, blah. Mm. Hold on, what the hell? Where do we want to go? 
Uh, okay, we need to go that way. Okay, we need to go over here. Oh, here we go. Here's the one I was looking for. Now, th this guy right here, we can talk to, to Donnie here. Donnie, Donnie. Um, at least I think so. But uh, right now, I'm not going to do that. Actually, I think it's you talk to... Uh, what is this? Mattis right here. But before that, we're going to engage in a little bit of uh, good old-fashioned tomfoolery with the druids. And I don't know, maybe we'll end the episode, then next episode we'll start doing some of these little side quests, but... Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Mragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Calm down. Well, that... Uh... Try it. Come Try it, buddy. Give her a chance. You step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Oh. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I. I suppose so. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Okay. Oh. Wow. Hostess subeunt protogenos mooninos. <laughs> Yoda! Do my eyes deceive me? A drow! Here! Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above. Oh, now. extremely. Rare and intriguing on a day already. Packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came. Oh, I killed them. You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. <laughs> well, I do love some of these dickhead options. I'm just not going to pick them. Most of the time. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. Oh, uh, search your mind, but remember nothing useful about goblin social order or damn it. behavior. They were shapeshifted devas. <laughs> Goblins were of a rare gem colored hue. And wielded magic blowguns. What? Weaver, this man has no respect for truth. Uh, uh, and the dragon they had marching in the rear was what? it of the brass or silver variety? Okay, you know. Witnesses failed <laughs> to notice the <laughs> obvious dragon. Oh my God. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell apart? Oh, the that is a good question. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, McLaviat, in favor of someone called the absolute. 
The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Yeah, yeah fair enough. <laughs> ah, Volo, love that guy. Uh, how am I supposed to go talk to her? Or can I- I can walk through the smoke? A uh, snoozing- a snoozing bear named Tuffet. Interesting. Uh, alright, where am I go- where are we going? Oh, there's a- actually there's something down here. Let's check this out. And then I think we're gonna call it an episode. Because I think I know what this is. I think. Never mind, I might be wrong. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Never mind. I thought there was going to be an encounter down here, but it does not seem like it. It's such a cool little pond. Ooh, look at this door. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. She stole the idol. I do not. Oh. Whoa. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a. A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here. Until the right is complete. What? And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Whoa! We took back the idol. Sure. Yeah, I have done this cutscene before, but it this still kind of gets me. Oh, okay. And let's see it. Alright, let's see how high we get. Okay, 17. Nice. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin w Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. Uh... Alright. Like I said, I have done this bit before, so I, I knew that was coming, but it still got me because it's just like, man, what an overreaction to a kid taking a thing. Like, yeah, I know it's your religious idol, but you know how you solve that problem? You pull the kid aside, you sit him down, you explain what the hell. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. <sighs> Kids take things. 
because they don't know better. You know how you get them to know better? You you sit down and explain the problem. Like, dude. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, actually, hold up. Let's get some dialogue here. Let's Let's talk to these people. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Hmm. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Can you <laughs> down a little? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gift crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. Agreed. At least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Uh, I mean, she did steal from them, and that deserves, you know, that deserves some form of punishment. But we don't sit kids down and scare the crap out of them with snakes in order to make that point, you know? Alright, I think that's where we're going to call it for today. We got quite a bit done, made some progress into the grove. And we'll talk to this <clears throat> druid. Uh, later, uh, I was, I was going to say another word that starts with a D, but I think I won't do that right now. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, do me a solid, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, uh, all those things that please the algorithm gods and spread this video around the platform. And don't forget to turn on notifications so that you don't miss it when a new video comes out. At any rate, this has been TBT. I'm signing out, and I'll catch you lovely people on the ne next episode of Baldur's Gate 3.